Hello, welcome to this YouTube video. It's a weird one, but it's really exciting because we're doing a video today for Team Seas. Mr. Beast is trying to get 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean by raising 30 million dollars. Um, I found out about it on Twitter 10 days ago. Or no, not 10 days ago. I found out on Twitter a few days ago and I have to post it within 10 days of when I found out. So, very cool idea. I wanted to do something really cool because I do all this with my platform, like conservation, it's so cool. So I was like, I wanna think of something cool, but I only have 10 days. And so I was gonna go pick up trash, but then I was like, no, I can't do that. I don't have time. Then I was gonna go kayaking. And I was like, I can't do that. And then I was just gonna sit down. I was gonna paint something about water and then make a video, but then that wasn't gonna work either. And so I couldn't really come up with anything. Um, it's so... This is what I came up with. <laughs> I hope you like it. <laughs> so who is this guy? Who is Georgie? Georgie is an African bullfrog. He is an animal ambassador at Alvea Sanctuary, my nonprofit organization for conservation education. He came from a zoo in California. So I used to work at a zoo in California. They raised him and he drove himself from California to Texas to be an ambassador to live here. It was a big, big journey. And right now he's a baby. So he's actually very small for an African bullfrog. They're the second largest frog in the world. He'll get to be the size of a dinner plate. Big man. And he's growing fast. His favorite foods are crickets and superworms and mice. He eats a mouse a week. Um, and he can eat 30 crickets in a sitting. He is a big boy. He's a growing boy. That's Georgie. So frogs in general, I want to talk a little bit about about their ecological niche and why they're important to water systems and to us. Georgie is a tadpole, would spend his time eating algae, eating mosquito eggs and larvae. And that's really important because it helps prevent the spread of disease. Hundreds of millions of people are infected by mosquito-borne illnesses each year, resulting in over 1 million deaths per year. Uh, due to mosquito-borne illnesses. So frogs are really important for our water systems. They're also a really important food source for other animals. Kind of sad, um, but important nonetheless. So that's why frogs are important. That's why we want to protect them. The other cool thing about Georgie is his skin. They have very, very special skin, which allows them to exchange liquids and gases with the blood vessels close to the surface of their skin, which is super handy because when frogs are hibernating or they're sitting on the bottom of a pond, they use their skin as a giant gill, basically. Um, they can pass the oxygen from the water to the frogs, and some salamanders, which are also amphibians, are so efficient at breathing through their skin that they don't even have lungs. Crazy. <laughs> but that's a super important adaptation for them, that they're able to do that with their skin. Very cool, but you can also imagine how that could be really dangerous and really, really sad uh, if the water is not clean, that they're absorbing and that they're breathing. So chemically polluted water is super dangerous to, to all of them worldwide. Georgie, don't like. Let's talk about trash a little bit, because this is what Team Seas is about. We're trying to remove 30 million pounds of trash from our oceans. Why is trash a problem in our oceans? One, yuck, trash gross. Two, entanglement. 340 species worldwide have been recorded to have suffered from entanglement from our trash. A recent report from the World Animal Protection states that at least 136,000 seals, sea lions, and large whales die from entanglement each year. Trash and plastics are not a naturally occurring thing in these animals' environments, and a lot of them mistake it for food. They'll get tangled in it, they eat it, netting can wrap around fins. Georgie may even eat plastic if he thinks it's his favorite food, like a bug. He doesn't know that it's plastic, and he doesn't know that it's trash, um, and that could make him very, very sick. Nobody wants to see Georgie sick. Look how sad he is. Sea turtles eat plastic bags. Their favorite food is jellyfish. Plastic bags floating in water look a hell of a lot like a jellyfish. Albatross parents, big birds, feed their chicks trash, which causes a false sense of satia satiation. Satiation. Sati satiate. Their chicks feel full when they feed them trash, and that leads to malnourishment. Um, those chicks oftentimes don't make it. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has found that Midway's lace and albatrosses unknowingly feed their chicks about five tons of plastic per year, which is insane and very, very sad. But yeah, we'll show some pictures of entanglement here. I know this is really depressing, but it's the reality of the situation. That's why this movement is so important today. It's, it's not just 
animals like Georgie, it's not just birds, it's fish, it's whales, it's dolphins, it's orcas, it's sea lions, it's everything in the ocean is affected by our trash. Um, it makes it harder for them to find food if, if they have entanglement issues. Uh, it makes them harder to escape from predators, and sometimes these animals drown. They drown or they suffocate, and is our responsibility to fix because it's our trash. I'll also say, because I just said it's our trash, a recent report from the Ocean Conservancy, who is working with Team Seas, claims that three-fourths of the ocean's waste that originated from land actually comes from uncollected litter. So, Team Seas is very important in that it's removing trash from our oceans, but it's also really important that we just don't litter in general so that more trash doesn't go into our oceans. Global plastic production exploded from 2 million metric tons in 1950 to 380 million metric tons in 2015, and it's still a growing industry. That's a lot of plastic. So much plastic that the World Economic Forum predicts if we keep up the pace, ocean plastics will outweigh fish by 2050, which is absolutely outrageous. Um, man. I care about this so much. Um, it makes me so happy that this is happening. Huge, huge, huge shout out to Mr. Beast for bringing together all these creators and making this possible. And to all the creators who are posting videos right now that, that are using their platforms for something so cool. Go to teamseas.org. Every dollar donated is a whole pound of trash taken out of our oceans and water systems, which is the coolest initiative ever. I know this video was weird, all right? I know this video was different. I'm gonna be honest, I found out 10 days before I needed to post this video. I didn't know what to do. So I, I green screen Georgie, all right? I think he was a great teacher. Um, I hope you liked the video. I hope it turned out okay. I have no idea what to expect for this one, but Team C's is sick. I'm so, so happy to be a part of it. And I appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe because this is YouTube. None of you, not enough of you are subscribed. So that makes Georgie really angry. And go to teamseas.org and I will see you on the next one. Bye.